Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Alt, and tonight we're continuing on with Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Now, this is part number six, so if you have not watched previous episodes, definitely going to watch those ones first. I'll probably leave the full playlist link for this playthrough down below in the description box and all my social links will be down there as well. Alright, so last time we went through the majority of the Lost Bastille. The game plan for today is that I want to go through Sinner's Rise and defeat that boss and hopefully go back to the Lost Bastille if we're able to find somewhere, either a branch or a lockstone or both. Anyways, as always, we will be streaming this live on Twitch, so if you still check my Instagram, talk to people, that is why. Also, don't forget to subscribe from here on YouTube and give a thumbs up if you're liking it helps me a lot but otherwise let's just go and get started. Okie dokie. So um I was noticing actually while editing last day that there was a secret wall that I think I missed. don't entirely remember even where it was but in terms of like how to get there but I know it was near the big gate where it was actually behind another secret wall. There was an item that we picked up beside the elevator and there was a message on the ground and it said here and I literally clicked on it but I didn't even even, like register it so I saw it when I was editing I'm like oh shit so I think there's another secret wall there but I am not positive yeah so right here where the elevator was so I'm just gonna touch all the walls because I don't know course and I'm thinking I bet you that this is where there was loot where I was like how the fuck do I get there I bet you that this is how you get there are you fucking kidding me bro you need to like oh he's gonna loot my ass oh my god <laughs> oh my god why is he everywhere fuck oh my god I just wanted some cozy little looting bro I Nothing wakes me up like a good old battle with my buddy. Can I heal again? Okay. Two. Three. Okay. Good. <laughs> so tanky for what? Oh! I need stamina. Okay, just smack him. No. No. <laughs> I don't have stamina for this man. Cursed. Okay. Can I heal? Please don't despawn. I'm, I'm coming right back. Oh, weird. It's almost like he got stuck. Where are you going? <laughs> Fucking hell. Alright. <laughs> right ahead and then visions of shield. Okay, so there's a loot here. It's where the blacksmith bonfire is. So I'm guessing it's at the very end of that. I do want to also kill the pursuer, but maybe we'll just look around really quick first before we do that so I can get some loot. Oh, see you, buddy. Oh, and this is how you get here. And this was the big empty square, and this was the piece of loot that we were seeing from the bridge. This all makes so much more sense. <laughs> Racing knuckle ring. Okay. Worn by Roy the Explorer. Close equipment degradation. Expensive flashy gear will not always make life easier for you. Sometimes you just need your tried and true equipment to last a long haul. Have we heard that name before? I don't remember. It kind of seems familiar. I don't think I need that right now, but that could be good. Like if you're slamming your head into a wall or if you're just like really close to the end or something. But I have so many other swords, I don't think it'll be an issue. So in theory, I can just jump this, right? <laughs> Flame butterfly and torch. Oh, three torches. Yes. I needed a torch so bad. And as well as the Sinner's Rise area that we're going to go into today, it looked very dark down there because we kind of poked our head down the elevator. Just very carefully. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yes, this makes sense because this is the same shape as the one I was looking at last time too. Hurrah for bravery. I'm hoping that this guy below me doesn't aggro and shoot me because I might fall and die. <laughs> Soul of a Brave Warrior, Golden Wing shield. This one looks kind of bougie, <laughs> like the design. A blue shield with gold relief of wings, likely a symbol of guardianship used by knights of the blue. Oh. Contains materials enchanted by magic, allowing spells to be deflected by parrying. This is actually quite nice. Kind of bougie looking. Can I? <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Set the bonfire. We can't. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Relax. Relax. Okay. Jesus. I'm gonna go back because I do actually want to fight the pursuer because he gives us twinkling stuff, which I don't know that I'll even need, but I feel the need to collect it. I think until I get some sort of stamina shield. Is mine that I'm using right now, is that stamina? Oh yeah, I think that's more souls per thing maybe. Oh, actually, there was also a ring we picked up last time that I forgot to read. How about a silver serpent ring? And I think it's just because we got this in Dark Souls 1, so I kind of already 
already knew what it was for when we first picked it up because that was with the pursuer fight first time that he showed up in lost bastille a silver ring depicting the snake both of the servant and manifestation of the god of greed xandro yeah. greed is traditionally viewed as a vice but only fool allows that to ruin a good opportunity interesting okay fallen foes yield more souls so once i find if i can find if there even exists one a stamina shield then i can equip this instead of having my souls shield and it would kind of maybe balance out a little bit i'm gonna equip the stone ring for now for fighting the pursuer i'm gonna double hand this time and we know where he's fine so i can get him some extra hits hopefully Three, four, five. okay 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 just walk honestly the best tip <laughs> let's go it's like just walk out of the way instead of trying to roll all the time maybe okay maybe all right the timing of that was very ironic but usually <laughs> okay 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 no because that will kill me all right we're good jesus christ he gives you 6k i don't know why i never noticed that okay Twinkling Tide Knight, nice. Alrighty. We did already get the loot that was in the elevator here because we had poked down there last time. So we can just go down, I think. Okay, let's grab Lucatil of Mara. I'm mostly scared, honestly, of if there's gonna be any holes in the ground or like areas that will be deeper water and like falling to my death. Blossom Kite Shield. Okay, I can already hear this fucker. So I'm just, I'm gonna read that in a second. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die immediately. Ooh. Oh shit, my fucking torch, bro. Oh my god. Okay, get in there, Lucatil. I'm just gonna heal over here. Damn, Lucatil's kinda tanky, man. Come on. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Thank you, Lucatil. Read a message. Illusion ahead. No way. Oh, it wasn't lying. What? Oh shit, this looks spooky as hell, though. Fine work, like a dream. <laughs> I'm kind of scared I'm gonna fall. Why are all these blood pools here? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> okay, what are the spikes over there? What is this for? Oh, there's a soul right here. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I was like, why can't you come here? Northern Ritual Band and Bleedstone. One of the secret treasures are stored in Aldia. Increases spell usage, but at the cost of HP. This modest looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one only need recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. Oh god, what? Okay, I gotta take notes. Hopefully we'll be able to find more items that tell us more about Aldia then. I don't think we've heard of it before at this point, but I could be wrong. I need all the HP I can get, so I probably won't use that <laughs> right now. We also got a shield. What is this one? Blossom Kite Shield. A rare shield depicting a blossoming flower that soothes the weary heart of its bearer. What makes flowers beautiful and why are we comforted when we gaze upon them? Sadly, the flower depicted on this shield went extinct a long time ago. Stamina Recovery. That is literally what I was talking about like a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Oh, I love stamina recovery. <laughs> now we'll equip the silver serpent ring so that we still get more souls with each kill then. Okay. I think this is it. I think the item is why we can come here. I kind of doubt we can go out there. If I'm wrong, feel free to tell me and I'll try to find the way, but otherwise I'm not gonna... <laughs> wander up there oh fire soul of nameless soldier should i relight my thing here i don't know how many of that big guy are gonna be in here or not like i can hear chains but that could just be a normal ad you know i'm gonna touch all the walls <laughs> now i'm paranoid I think we're good. oh thanks lucatil okay i'm gonna use because i'm too lazy to go all the way back out no not the bonfire static wrong one it's because it's orange i'm gonna use the flame butterfly yeah for my torch. I'm gonna try to remember to not roll because I, I would love to be able to see because there's a guy over there. Jail cell. Hello, skeleton. Don't give up, skeleton. <laughs> All right, touch the walls. Nothing in here. I huh. wonder why you can come in here. Maybe it was one of these guys that uh, Luca Teal smacked, most likely. Oh, there's a summon here. <gasps> cell sword Luet, two summons. For this boss? Do you think it's a multiple multiple person boss fight again? Wow, my buddies. I hope this doesn't make Lucatil go away. Not locked, Bastille key. Okay, hold on. I wanna look at the other side there too. <laughs> Let's go over here. <gasps> oh, I fucking, ooh, I forgot about my torch. 
god. <laughs> Shit. You should go all nothing. <laughs> the soul sword? Luet doesn't have a sword. I know, it's so strange. He's got like double shields. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Now that we're looking at him too, the helmet's kind of interesting with the red eyes. It reminds me of a uh, pursuer. Is that a high knight? Are you gonna attack me? No. Fire seed. <gasps> no, look at you. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It was just big chilling, bro. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, buddy. Hide spear. Oh, okay, maybe it was worth it. <laughs> spear originating in hide. Special alloy makes it very durable. The composition of the alloy of these spears remains a mystery, but in Drang Lake, the attempt to imitate it resulted in the similar brad and steel. That might honestly be the same description as their armor, but I don't remember. Okay, fire seed, a tiny waning flame used to strengthen a pyromancy flame. A pyromancy flame serves as the catalyst for pyromancies and scales the strength of each spell according to its level. Fire is a common object of worship. It can never be grass and its mystery strikes the human imagination. Okay, great. So maybe I can give that to Steady Hand Macduff. Oh yeah, I forgot to show my notes too from last time. These are our notes. The first lost best deal day and I also have a second page. <laughs> there was a lot of reading that we did last time. Okay, let's go back out here. Can I unlock this as well? Okay, and then I'm gonna go down because I hear more clanging. Hello. There we go. Go walls, perhaps. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nice. Feels like overkill almost to have two summons in this area. I mean, I guess it's mostly for the boss. But it's just strange that you summon them here. Oh, wait, this is gated off. Wait, so the fog wall isn't even in here. Oh, well, that's even more strange. <gasps> no. I <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> I wonder if the big guy respawns too. That would be kind of uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Oh my god, he does respawn. Bro, why? I can't roll. I can't roll. Okay, let's just fight him right here, huh? Let's cheese him a little. Don't roll, just sprint. Ah! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll wait. <laughs> light my torch. I'm so reliant on rolling in this fucking game. Oh yeah. This time I'm gonna pick up my shovels. Oh shit, I just realized I had like 10k, didn't I? Because we fought before I died here, the death before. Uh. <laughs> yeah, come here. Little oh, bitch. I can cheese him. And I will. I may not even have to, honestly. If he's as long as he's smacking her. Thanks, Lucatiel. You are so tanky. Yeah, that's much better. Because honestly, oh, just so much of the AoE ends up hitting even he's not even aiming for me. There we go. That was much better. <laughs> Thank you, Lucatiel. Oh, here. Okay. Ghost ahead, left. Oh! <laughs> okay, smooth and silky stone. Try attacking. I didn't even see that the first time. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, uh, see, okay. I know it's kind of a waste because we're like kind of already through this section. But, like I really want to use a torch because I feel like maybe you can only see those when you have a torch. And like, it's nice that there's messages, but what if there's more and I'm not seeing it? Okay, this guy doesn't respond. I'm really curious as to why there was a hide knight in this area. So this is where this one was. I want to check the other side again, even though I know we just did it. Cause what if there was another one? <laughs> I swear if I lit this just for that one, that we already killed. <laughs> oh, there's a sconce you can light next to the elevator. Oh, over here. Yeah, because then I don't have to run all the way back to the bonfire every time. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's go in here. I'm going to be careful not to put out our light. But at least now we've got the sconce. I think we can relight it. I'm gonna touch all the walls. We've only got nine minutes left on this, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> Seeing them uh, like sitting here like this as well. So maybe this area was not always underwater, but it's interesting that No Man's Wharf guy is in here because this whole thing was due with water. That or maybe they purposefully filled it with water to drown the remaining people wearing skull. Because it was kind of saying that the Lord of the Lost Bastille had abandoned this place, but maybe this 
I don't know, because this is technically Sinner's Rise, but it's all kind of connected to Lost Bastille, so okay, what about this? The last one? Oh, item. Soul of Proud Knight and Ferris Lockstone. Oh, okay, that's great, because we have two areas in Lost Bastille that I couldn't access because I didn't have any more stones. Oh, and there's a thing here, too. Let's pull this. Oh, open the gate. Oh, I see. It's all the way over there. Twitch required ahead, then fire. Oh, we do need a torch. Oh, can I light this? So these are the ladders. I'm guessing these were the doors that we unlocked, but why? Why? It's very strange. And this one, there's nothing here either. What? Oh my god, don't fall. Maybe that's if you didn't get the key and you would just open up the gate or something? I don't know. Or maybe so that you don't have to refight the, the ones that are on the bottom. This area looks very grand. Like these big, uh, big stairs. Oh, there's an item. Radiant life gen. This guy's in fucking fetal position, dude. Are you good? <laughs> Let's go up here. Can I open this? Use Bastille key. Set light. You're gonna light me on fire? What is this for? Try torch. Yeah. Why? Item. Who died in here? Smooth and silky stone. Oh, so would that have been a shade that died here? That's interesting. Because we had some lore on the shades. Move it last time. <laughs> that was kind of saying how they were, I think, hired to do like somebody else's dirty work sort of thing. So maybe they were waiting for somebody to like come approach. Oh, it doesn't do anything in the middle. I was thinking maybe if I light both of them, maybe something in the middle shows up or. Uh, please don't push me off. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can see in the reflection of the water too that they're lit up. But like, that looks way bigger than what I lit up. Let's just fucking, let's go in. Oh shit, we got a cutscene. Hello. Was that? What? Wasn't that the bug from Dark Souls 1? Um, what the fuck was it called? Witch mommy, um. <laughs> <laughs> the big treat better chaos <laughs> not witch mommy i'm sorry okay okay hi oh you're a hoppy one huh oh 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 you got mad hops okay jesus christ okay hold on just hop at them a little bit okay i'm just gonna <laughs> oh look at all the chains on the ground too damn you're fighting like this and you got your hands bound you are so good who are, wait who are we fighting the lost sinner oh Okay, what does that mean? Is this... Is this witch mommy? <laughs> I mean, cause the bug, but then... Unless it's just that the that bug has infected somebody else? I don't fucking know, man. Yeah, beat her ass. Let's go. Wait, don't kill my buddies. At least no, look with you. I'm like struggling to like keep lock on or not keep it on because you are hopping too damn much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh my god, don't kill Lucatiel. If Lucatiel dies, I gotta redo the fight because I think she's dead dead if I defeat the boss. Oh! I don't know about Cellsword though. Wait, don't kill him either! Oh fuck. Shit. Okay, Lucatiel, hang in there. Hang in there! Wait! No, because if you die, then I gotta do it again. And I don't want to. Oh, he's so low. Okay, just smack him. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, I'm low. Oh, I'm low. Okay, look at you. You got this. You can get the last hit, honey. Let's go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh my god. What? What? What does that mean? <laughs> Great soul embraced? That sounded very fancy. What is all this scribbling on the ground as well? Is this an actual language that can be like translated or something? Reminds me of like uh, the scribblings in Dead Space actually. Like how they're all just like kind of sprawled out. I'm guessing because whoever, you know, the lost sinner, I guess, has been chained up here for so long, right? And is obviously broken out of all of the- Like why are there so many clasps? How many arms and legs were you chained up by? Interesting. First try, let's go. <laughs> It honestly just helps to have the NPC summons because then I can heal while they take aggro. 
<laughs> She's one of the four great souls you need to get to Drang Lake. Aren't we already in Drang Lake? I thought Drang Lake was like Lordran in terms of the like overarching name of where we already are. It makes me very curious as well because if that was supposed to be like the what was her fucking name? Witch of Isolate? Because then the Lost Sinner and then the Bug in the Eye and then the big spooky fancy thing. So are we gonna have to like basically refight the four major great soul things from Dark Souls One maybe or something like that? Oh, that would be very curious. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's open this door. This kind of looks like the door present the seal of the king type of door from this side, but maybe it's just a bougie door. I don't know. <laughs> I did it. How are you? Good job. Bonfire. Oh, there's a chest here. What do you got? Vagrant branch of your Elizabeth mushroom. Elizabeth. I love Elizabeth. Big mushroom lady from Dark Souls 1 DLC. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay. That's very cool. Because I think we got a different, I don't remember if it was a spell or an item or something. I remember we read something that also mentioned Elizabeth before too, I think, right? Where it was like saying how people still use her spells and whatever else. Specifically treated dried mushroom creates a euphoric sensation when it ingested and restores a large amount of HP over time. Saying Elizabeth devoted her life to helping the needy and concocting medicine and potions. It's thought her great virtue was matched only by her sublime beauty, but who can say now? I can say now! She is so beautiful inside and out. <laughs> Oh, that's very sweet. Okay. I know I've been comparing Dark Souls 2 to Dark Souls 1 the entire time we've been playing, okay? But it's literally called Dark Souls 2. Okay, so <laughs> it makes sense to compare. I'm gonna go around and touch all the walls, but like, I hope it's not annoying or anything, but I just, you know, sadness, <laughs> help me. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I, I like that there's a lot of little nods and stuff to Dark Souls 1, but I also like that there's enough of like its own different stuff too. I can't see a damn thing up there. I think it's just a ceiling. Let's light the bonfire. Primal... What? A primal bonfire was rekindled. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Return to the far fire. Oh, like we're, we about to teleport? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on, before I do that, we're gonna read the soul because I always forget to do that immediately after. Even the icon looks different. Prisoner of sinners rise. The lost sinner eternally punishes herself for the sins of her past. It's gotta be the witch of Isolith then. That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> Uses the special soul of the lost sinner to acquire numerous souls or create some of great worth. Okay. Punishes herself for sins of her past. So maybe she locked herself up? Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, because okay, see, this is when my notes from Dark Souls 1 can come in handy. <laughs> Day 23 was bed of chaos. <laughs> Let me skim. Killed the bed of chaos. Seemed like a bug in the middle was the witch of Isolith or what remains of her. These are just my notes from Dark Souls 1 that day. Seemed like it was trying to contain the chaos since the firearms, yeah, it was like a big tree. The firearms explode. You have to like cut each of the branches in order to get to the middle where the bug aka what remains of the witch of Isleth it was there left and like when we tried to get into the middle tries to swipe you away from getting to it and the lord so okay so the lord soul of bed of chaos right okay so witch of Isleth attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire its power formed a bed of life which would become the source of all demons so like in reality witch of Isleth was actually trying to help by like trying to duplicate the first flame flame so that people could like keep living or whatever but it just like turned out terribly wrong and it ended up fucking up both of her daughters and her son and all this kind of shit so that's really fucking cool that like she's here and like she's trying to like punish herself i guess for that even though it was a fucking accident and she was trying to help oh that's so cool so i wonder if that was actually her like as like the actual body that we fought or if it is actually the little bug because i just assumed that the witch of isolith became the little bug like maybe she shriveled up or maybe she mutated or something like that in dark souls one when we were fighting that and we found only that left but now that she's got like a body form and it's like punishing herself but maybe it's just like a body and maybe that's not actually her and her is the little bug and that she just needed like a body to be kept in i don't know oh very very curious though that's that's cool i like that say that again you got me woke <laughs> so the lost sinner eternally punishes herself for sins of her past right and there's a little bug that crawled into the eye which was the Witch of Isolith from Dark Souls 1. If you remember Bed of Chaos, that was the little bug that we smack in the middle. So I'm wondering if the body, like in this game that we fought, that was actually the Witch of Isolith or if the Witch of Isolith is still the bug and that she just needed a body to kind of house her 
herself, I guess, so that she can like be chained up because you can't really chain up a little bug, right? <laughs> so because if that body is the Witch of Isolate, then we never actually killed her in Dark Souls 1, even though it kind of feels like or seems like we did because we killed the little bug thing. So maybe she was just here the entire time or something like that. I feel like it makes almost more sense that the bug was still the witch because I just assumed that she kind of either transformed or mutated or whatever from like her witchy self into the bug when we play Dark Souls 1. But now that we have the body and the bug, because it could be that the body is the witch of Isolith and that the bug never was, or it could be that the bug was and that it's just a body. But then it brings in the question of like, who's the body, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's a goddamn game theory. Okay, because as well, like, wasn't her- uh, did I even write it down? In Dark Souls 1, wasn't she literally called the Lost Witch of Isolate? Or am I just, like, lying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I have that in the back of my brain, that maybe she was called that somewhere. It's just a theory. <laughs> a game theory. <laughs> it seems like what it is. Because I, I just remember because I, I took so many, like, okay, this was- this was my notes from Dark Souls 1, from the day that we fought Bed of Chaos, okay? Like, I took a lot of fucking notes, <laughs> specifically from that day because I thought it was really weird her whole fight was so strange because everyone else that we fought especially like the big souls that we got were fighting them but hers was like a big demon tree and then the bug was in the middle so I'm like that's so strange and actually smacking the bug took one or two hits versus her whole tree thing is like trying to swipe you away from getting at the bug because it seems like they're trying to contain the chaos in that tree right I don't know that's just what I'm thinking, but I- it doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> this is why I wanted to take notes from Dark Souls 1. Cause like I put it- I just put it in the same book. Like all of- let me see. All of this is Dark Souls 1. <laughs> <laughs> so I can just reference it to my Dark Souls 2, which we've only just started, right? So I only have a couple pages, but like, oh, very cool. Very cool though. Okay. I'm so curious about the other big souls that we're going to get then. And if those will be the same as the big guys in Dark Souls 1 or not. Because maybe it's just going to be this one, right? Which even if it is, I'm happy with that. But that would that'd be pretty fucking cool. Because it would kind of make sense as well if it was the same big souls as Dark Souls 1 or like some iteration of it. Because we, in Dark Souls 1, you're getting these big souls of like the big bads or whatever in order to put it into the lord vessel bowl thing to access the ending boss so it makes sense if we are trying to essentially do the same thing that we would need the same soul mm, very curious okay uh let's go back i guess because i think we're done here i love lore <laughs> uh, back in medulla mm, i'm so curious about this bitch <laughs> the emerald herald because like the whole idea of medulla and especially that it's connected to those types of bonfires because like the big question is why is everyone drawn here and everyone like starts to why does this bitch have a jester hat okay i'm sorry i'm getting distracted <laughs> The whole thing is that everyone gets drawn here and no one really knows why and everyone starts forgetting why they came here and stuff. But essentially it's so that they cure themselves, I think, of the undead curse or whatever, right? Which is interesting if you think about it in comparison to Dark Souls 1, because in Dark Souls 1, you're trying to cure the curse of the undead for everybody, just to cure it in general. But for Dark Souls 2, it seems like, at least so far, that people are just trying to cure it for themselves. So that's very curious as well. And I don't know why that is, like maybe because of everything that happened like the events and stuff that happened in Dark Souls 1 that people learned that you can't cure it for everyone and that if you are gonna cure you're only curing it for yourself. I don't know. I'm very curious though. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a quick note I think and then I'll do more extensive note taking after stream because there's too many things to write down right now. I'm like still trying to think. I'm trying to think if I can piece anything else together but I think that's it. Very very cool. I love Lord. <laughs> the lore in this game is so cool. It's so vague. What am I doing now? <laughs> So I'm actually really glad too that we got a lockstone and a branch of yore in that section because we needed both of those things. I actually need two Ferris lockstones, but I will take one. And then we also needed this. See, now I'm scared because the branch of yore, we technically need that to unlock the left area in Majula because there was a statue lady in there that seemed like an NPC, but there was also the NPC stone guy in Lost Bastille and he had a bonfire. And I'm wondering if he opens up another section even if it's like a mini section or something or maybe the lockstone would but maybe the lockstone is just loot and then which one do i open i don't know where okay i'm going to talk to you sorry honey you gotta get you out you have acquired the soul of an old one 
Oh. That is more than most undead can say. Oh, okay. I didn't expect any dialogue for that. What are you hiding, little hair lady? Okay, I need to take a note about that too. Yeah, Soul of the Old One. It's literally, it's gotta be. It's gotta be the Witch of Isolate. That is enough to confirm my theory to myself. <laughs> I remember wishing Dark Souls 2 had leveling at all bonfires. That would be nice. In Dark Souls 1, could you level up at any bonfire as well? Or was that only... Oh yeah, that was any of them, right? I didn't even think about that. Now that I've said that though. <laughs> Maybe it's because lore wise at least in dark souls 2 there's no more fire keepers right except for seemingly emerald herald which is again very curious other than the old ones very beginning in betwixt but they don't seem to be actively you know each tending their own bonfire oh that's so curious like who the fuck is this emerald lady i'm very suspicious of her because if she is a fire keeper but supposedly all of the fire keepers died or are like gone or whatever they said at the very beginning of the game except for the old ladies there then maybe emerald herald isn't from this time because we know in Dark Souls, right, that the time is all wibbly wobbly and all that kind of stuff, and you can kind of do like time traveling shit. Like maybe she's of the time of Fire Keepers and she somehow got brought here or got sent here or traveled here of her own accord and is trying to do something. <laughs> I don't know what she's trying to do. As well as because like she literally says that we got a soul of the old one. Like how the fuck would you know? Were you in the time of the old ones maybe? Maybe you know just from legends and stuff, but maybe you know no. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I, I'm suspicious of her. Let's put all of our points into vitality so that raises our HP a little bit and our equip loads. So then maybe we can start experimenting a little bit more with armor. Brings us to 16. Let's do that. Thank you. Let's use fragrant branch of yore. Yeah, because you have a kind of cool. Do you want to give me one of those? Okay. Ah, still a bit stiff, I'm afraid. <laughs> I must thank you, young traveler. I am strayed, wandering sorcerer of sorts. I've been a guest for a very long time, but I don't think that anybody will miss me. <laughs> I'll miss you, don't worry, honey. <laughs> I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes. I wonder why he was locked up as a statue. Like, what the fuck did you do? Or maybe he was just a cleric, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good indeed. Cursed one, weak you may be, but I, strength, will teach you my spells. You just call me weak? You fucking... <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, learn gesture. Mock gesture. Oh, okay, you're this kind of character, okay. Oh, how long was I sat? Petrified. Long I don't enough know. for the old kingdom to have crumbled, I see. Oh. Why didn't anyone wake me sooner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Okay. I wonder where this place is in relation to Dark Souls 1, if at all. Because, like, some areas it seems, like, connected and some it just doesn't really seem that connected. But, like, the old kingdom crumbled. This is just a different kingdom. Maybe there's no tie at all and maybe, you know, but maybe. Right. Lake. I've never heard the name. Is that what they call this place now? It's Dark Souls 1, I swear to God. <laughs> Very good indeed. Okay. The cursed ones were imprisoned within this land. Of mm -hmm. course, you came of your own free will. <laughs> the people feared the cursed ones like a plague. Some people would rather keep dreadful things out of sight, out of mind. In the end, they swept them up and corralled them here. So very typical of meek minds, don't you think? <laughs> Hmm, very curious. Okay. Yeah, we did get a piece of lore item last time that talked about how the Lord of the Bastille area, I guess, got kind of overwhelmed slash paranoid thinking everybody had the curse, so he locked everybody up and then abandoned the place. Which again, brings to question, why are you here? <laughs> Interesting too, the way he talks about it, like he's better than them or something. Hmm, okay. Anything else? Once people became aware of their own frailty, they seized anybody they found undesirable, cursed or no, and impounded them here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoever posed even the slightest threat was removed, all so that they could sleep better at night. They even turned the great strain into a stone. <laughs> yeah, I guess that just kind of confirms what I was just saying. Okay, so the slightest threat. Yeah, undead or no. That's interesting to you. I wonder why Strayed would be considered a threat then. Many kingdoms rose and fell on this tract of earth. 
Mine was by no means the first. Anything that has a beginning also has an end. No flame, however brilliant, does not one day splutter and fade. Then, from the ashes, the flame reignites, and a new kingdom is born, sporting a new face. It is all a curse. <laughs> yeah. And like, it is your uh, cursed <laughs> flesh that will inherit the flame. <laughs> Oh, it's just larger. Many kingdoms came and fell. So I wonder if there was more kingdoms as well in between being Drangleic and Lordran. Maybe that's what he's trying to say. Which will kind of make sense as to like why some things connect to Dark Souls 1 and some seem like their own new thing and then some seem like their own new thing but are talked about like they're an old thing. Maybe. Pyromancy was created by the ancient Witch of Fire. Witch of Isolith, again, she in this area. Flame so and cool. Melded it into pyromancy, which led her daughters into war against the old ones. But legends are legends. What are you prepared to believe? <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, well, we already went on like a whole rant when I killed her, so I'm... <laughs> but, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we can take a look at what he sells. Oh, some rings. Ring of knowledge. A ring blessed by the high priest of Vulgan. Increases intelligence. The clerics of the great city of Vulgan are perennially entrenched in scandalous power struggles, but among them... Oh, oh Mogus. Uh, <laughs> remain a few strong, upstanding noblemen. Okay, I take a little note. Lingering dragon crest ring. Do we have a ring like this? in Dark Souls 1? Looks familiar, sounds familiar. A ring used long, long ago in a, in a land that exists where Drangleic does now. Extends length of spell effect. Okay, so it was familiar from Dark Souls 1. I couldn't remember. The ancient dragons were once worshipped in several nations and rumors concerning objects of similar enchantment to this uncommon ring abound in many lands, though their origins are no longer verifiable. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there's so many references. That's so cool. A gape ring? A ring affixed with an open vessel. This vessel insatiably absorbs souls in place of its wearer, who is left unaware of their collection. All things are rooted in souls, but what drives our thirst for them? Abstinence from this elixir may be the truest homage, homage to an enduring self. Huh? Oh, you know what? It's probably for co-op, actually. There's like a soul level thing, and in order to connect to other people for co-op, you have to be like around the same soul level or something like that, maybe? Maybe you would wear that if you want to like kind of stick in the same range or something like that. It's the only thing I can think of for why you would actually want that. Oh, PvPers use it the most. What about that affects PvP? Since there's a dedicated memory people play at. Oh, I see. Oh, also sells rouge water, restores HP and spell use. Right, we got one of these already, so I'm not gonna reread those. Homing Soul Arrow, one of the sorceries devised by Strahd, the great mage of ancient Olafus. Olafus. Fire Soul Arrows that follow their targets to end of the earth. Magic Shield, so it turns your shield into a magic shield. Certain members of the Melfian Magic Academy scoff at these types of magic. The peers in particular are disdainful of anything vaguely linked to sword fighting. Oh yeah, we had like a, a magic weapon spell as well from the No Man's War magic guy. I kind of said the same thing. Okay, cast light. This actually might be a good one for me to get for areas that are dark that don't need torches. <laughs> Sorcery that dates further back than recollection. Creates a light that illuminates one's surroundings. Light banishes dark and reveals all. Whether this is desired is another matter. So I wonder if you could also use this on the shade guides instead of the torch to like be able to see them better too. I might actually buy that one. It's 3k. We could level up to use it. <laughs> Resplendent life. Great miracle used by highly ranked clerics. Slowly restores a large amount of HP. Cleric Forsal of Lindell was a master of miracles who fought battles across the lands. His allies called him a holy knight but his enemies feared him for his demonic powers. Oh yeah we had a different spell I think that told us about this guy already too. Unveil. A miracle that senses traitors revealed the location of the nearest enemy or invading dark spirit. Those who serve Lindell Monastery willfully adhere to strict commandments. This miracle was created to castigate those who ignore their righteous teachings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Lingering Flame. One of the pyromancies devised by Stride. Stride? Is it Stride or Strahd? Release a static fireball that explodes when foes draw near. Stride? 
Okay, Strayed. <laughs> Strayed was an oddly gifted mage, well-versed in both sorceries and pyromancies, but his curious temperament never allowed him to settle down in one place for very long. Okay, because also the guy that we talked to last time, I will have to check my nose for what his name was, but magic guy in No Man's War, Carillion, he also had spells and pyromancies, which I thought was very curious that he did both. Maybe Strayed was a pupil of that guy or vice versa. Because I was also curious as to why he was in No Man's War, so now to find them both, that they were both kind of like locked up in their own ways is very curious. Flame swath or swath, also made by Strayed. Great flames envelop and immolate faraway foes. What does that mean? Strayed, always immersed in magic, never accepted an apprentice. Uh oh. As a result, much of his extensive knowledge is permanently lost. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Permanently lost? Like he's dead? Maybe because he was turned into a statue, then people basically considered him dead, like if they hadn't seen him. Actually, maybe that makes more sense, because if he's been locked up here since like forgotten fallen kingdom or whatever, then people would probably assume he's dead because they haven't been able to find him or something. Dark Orb. A hex modified from an old sorcery by Gilia, the father of hexing. Fires a heavy orb of darkness. Use hexes, equip a sacred chime or staff, and attune a hex at a bonfire. Acquired equipment depends on hex. Catalyst yeah. I don't remember which one was which. I remember we got some of these like dark things in There's Souls 1 in the area. Where the fuck was that? The really dark area with the floating humanity mobs. <laughs> and then we also got some, I think, in the DLC. I don't remember which one's where though. Dark Hail, modified from an old sorcery of Gilia the Hexer, fires several orbs of darkness. Hexing is rooted in both sorcery and miracles, but is viewed as a perilous all front to all light and banned in most lands. Oh, that's interesting. Dark magic type stuff was, again, with Dark Souls 1 comparisons, but that was like abyss stuff. I think, right? Or like kind of connected. <laughs> so maybe that's why it's considered so perilous and stuff. Like to risk more dark slash abyss things happening. Maybe that's why Strayed is also locked up here because he was selling banned magic or one of the reasons. Okay. Okay. Dark Fog. A hex that releases a temporary localized mist. Those who breathe in the mist are instantly assailed by poison. This hex is regarded as a poison due to the outward symptoms, but in fact the mist eats away at the target's inner essence. Just the traits that led to the prohibitation of hexing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Okay. I wonder if we're gonna get much abyss stuff in this game. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Oh, one more. Affinity. An advanced hex based on ancient sorcery. Creates a dark mass that seems to pursue its target with a will of its own. It appears to be a manifestation of an emotion. Perhaps of hate, perhaps of love. Is this a reference to madness? <laughs> Okay, I think that's it for these. I do notice as well we can trade. So I'm guessing, oh, I was thinking, oh, required items at the bottom there. Soul of the Pursuer. Oh, this is the boss soul weapons guy. This is great. I like this better than how they did this part in Dark Souls 1 actually, I think. Because in Dark Souls 1, you had to have like a base item. So like, let's say a long sword, level that up to 10, which took so much time to gather the materials. Like if you wanted to, to get all of the boss soul weapons, which I wanted to, because I wanted to be able to read the lore, which is the only part I cared about because I didn't really care that much about using them just because I had already found the weapon that I really liked, but I wanted to be able to read them. It took me so long. Like I had to do that like off of recording during Dark Souls 1. I just like farmed that shit out so I could just get enough souls to level it up and stuff like that. So this is great. You just need the soul and you can read it without even buying it. This is so good. Okay, because <laughs> I really wanted to be able to read all of the items too in Dark Souls 1 because some of them, they have multiple things that you could get like these and I wanted to see if they were different and stuff unless I missed something in Dark Souls 1 and you could do that and I was like unaware but like this is great this makes it so much easier oh okay heavy homing soul arrow ruin sentinel soul that's interesting that you could get spells too Do they have stuff like that in Dark Souls 1 too like getting spells instead I don't remember I don't think so but I could be wrong maybe I just didn't see it okay we're gonna do some reading <laughs> Okay, so heavy homing soul arrow. One of the sorceries devised by Strayed fires thick powerful soul arrows that seek their targets to the ends of the earth. I wonder, I feel like some of the NPC summons were using this, but maybe it was just the regular homing soul arrow. Pursuer's ultra great sword. Known as the mightiest of the straight swords, it demands great strength and dex of its wielder. Pursuer hunts down those branded by the curse as if each undead soul that he claims will atone one of his sins. Oh, see, I want more lore about the pursuer trying to atone for his sins. So what the fuck are your sins? dude like what what did you do that was so bad 
Oh, that might be a fun one to actually try and use. Oh, it needs 30 strength. 30 strength and 18 dex. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's kinda, <laughs> I could maybe get there eventually. Warped sword, a curved sword forged from the soul of the Fluxile Sentry, once straight but later twisted to reflect its warped owner. The sentry crammed inmates of the overflowing Bastille onto a rickety ship and cast them out to the open sea. The majority of them drowned or starved, but a few hardy survivors made land to the south and imparted their knowledge of sorcery to people there. Yeah, I don't know if I've taken notes or something about the land in the south. I might have and then maybe forgetting. I don't remember if like maybe Mara was in the south or one of the other places. I'll have to go over my notes and maybe just try to also search my memory, which is bad memory, <laughs> bad, bad memory, but maybe it's somewhere in my brain or my book. I don't know. Is that arced or arsed? Arsed sword? Okay, so this is also for the Fluxal Sentry, a curved great sword. There's something unsettling and at the same time beautiful about its long curved blade. Okay, and then the bottom half is the same description as the other one. Giant stone axe, great axe forged from the last giant soul. This weapon resembles a primitive stone tool, but it's quite powerful owing to its immense size. King Vendrick disappeared as of the war with the giants reached its ferocious peak, leaving his castle. Some swear that upon hearing the news, the queen's face remained as still as her portrait. Oh, is there somewhere I can see her portrait? Oh, unless there was like two oversized, like not the branch statues, but like oversized statues in Lost Bastille and there was actually a stone there too somewhere <laughs> somewhere in there there was like a really big statue of some old dude and then there was a smaller but like still oversized statue of maybe a lady so i wonder if that was king vendrick and his queen which i was kind of thinking last time that it might be king vendrick but he kind of was wearing almost cleric looking robes so i was thinking maybe not maybe it's just some guy or maybe it was the lord of bastille but maybe maybe that's them or maybe not i don't know so the queen was basically a maybe pissed <laughs> and or unsurprised that he left and also that he left without her so that's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one, Barbed Club. A club forged from the soul of the Fluxile Sentry. The spikes covering its length are as vile as the Sentry itself. Halberd of the Dragon Riders, King Vendrick's Royal Guard. A highly versatile weapon that can slash, sweep, and thrust when wielded nimbly. It's also imbued with magic. Oh, that's interesting. Demands great skill of its wielder and thus serve to test the worthiness of those who aspire to join the Dragon Riders. Oh. It's also interesting, actually, that King Vendrick's Royal guard would have weapons that are like sure strength dex weapons but are also imbued with magic because he disliked clerics aka magic users <laughs> so much okay dragon rider's twin blade wielded with an unusual technique this one strikes very hard but is very heavy i wonder if this one is also imbued with magic it doesn't really say that but maybe but it's showing the stats i don't know which icon it even would be <laughs> it does say magic attack at 80 for this so maybe 90 in this one so this one is also imbued with magic too okay dragon rider's bow merely drawing this bow requires inhuman strength but each shot has deadly potential this reminds me of the weapons from dark souls 1 i don't remember the exact name but i think it was like kind of opposite it was like dragon hunters maybe or something like that it's like this massive bow that you like plant on the ground <laughs> to use maybe a little bit of parallel sort of stuff with the guard pursuer's great shield for those who can handle the weight of this shield it offers resistance to curses oh that's kind of nice dragon rider's great shield the rank of dragon rider was reserved for honorable warriors who helped found a dragon land oh together with the king they crushed its former inhabitants and erected a magnificent kingdom upon their graves okay <laughs> It makes me just curious as to like who these dragon riders were. And again, if Drang Lake popped up right after the end of Lordran, or if there was kingdoms in between that, that would be curious. Very interesting. I feel like King Vendrick's kind of a fucking asshole. <laughs> just the way it's worded even. Crushed its former inhabitants in a magnificent kingdom upon their graves and then calls them honorable warriors. But like, was it so magnificent if you abandoned it and your queen as soon as things got a little tough like ooh. <laughs> Sounds like a bit of a coward, King Vendrick, but all right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I think I'm most interested in the Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword, but I can't exactly wield them right now. My stats are not quite up to par. <laughs> all right. Cast one. Oh. Let's hope the magnificence of my spells does not deter you. <laughs> Just because I didn't buy something? Okay, see, mm, okay, now. This is a most peculiar soul. What? Very good. Cool. Very good indeed. Like unusual I have my... souls produce unusual spells. <laughs> 
a soul I have in my inventory? Which one? See, because now that I hear what his dialogue is, it makes me want to buy something so that I can hear what his dialogue is. <laughs> you know, like if I do buy something. Oh, you know what? I was thinking about buying the cast light anyway, so let's get that one. Can't use it yet, but it's not that far off. 14. Feel okay. cast one. Do you really think you can manage the glories that are my spells? <laughs> Damn, so he is rude regardless of if I buy one or not. Would it be different if I did buy a boss weapon? Okay, I'm gonna get the Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword. I can't use it right now, but I want to see if he says anything different and I can afford it, so why not? Feeble, cursed one. What? <laughs> Do you really think you can manage the glories that are my spells? <laughs> He's gonna be pissy no matter no matter what. Okay, well, we tried. <laughs> okay, now we can finally light this bonfire as well. And I wanted to touch the walls. Nothing. Man, I was hoping maybe this would be a secret wall or like one of these that would open a new thing. We did have actually, uh, we had a lock stone as well. Where did he go? Oh, he's just right here. See, so maybe that's why these guys are not as aggressive in this area is because he stands here. Do you have different dialogue well, now? This is a most charming soul. Interesting stuff. Very good. Too. Very good indeed. My power is yours. Let it serve your desire. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the servants' quarters bonfire. Okay, so let's go down here. This is the one where the pursuer showed up before, so we already killed him. There was a lock stone over here, so let's use this. Hopefully, <laughs> gives me something good. Got it. <laughs> Just the one, right? Okay. Hello. Ah, okay, area open. Belfry Luna. It's literally just below Bastille. Okay. <laughs> His dialogue changes for four boss soul items. Uh, should I go back? I do have soul items. I'm gonna get the twin blade. Oh, so we have to buy all of them or like one of each, <laughs> I guess, because we don't actually kill that many things. So. Okay, let's use this for the last giant. I'm gonna do the curved great sword. Sure. Cursed one, take the. Uh, oh, oh, he uses her, his fate. Black hood, robe, gloves, boots. Nice. Oh, and please, stop being so weak. <laughs> Maybe I love him. <laughs> Thank you for that tip because I would not have thought to do that. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy because I really liked his outfit. A black robe enchanted with resistance to magic. Strayed spent several lifetimes as stone. During this hiatus, kingdoms rose and fell till the land called Dranglet came to be. Okay, I mean, we kind of already knew that from his other stuff. What about the hood? Sometimes the hood is different. Grand slight increase to spellcasting speed. Strayed was invited to the old kingdom of Olaphis? Olaphis? But its depth was such that people feared him, and in the end, Strayed was led into a dreadful trap. Improves casting speed. Oh, okay. So I guess that answers our question as to why he was <laughs> turned to stone. Like they almost thought he was too powerful or something or too wise. That's interesting. So I wonder where Strayed was from before. Because if he was invited there, he must have been from somewhere else, right? He's 16 int to even wear it. Man. Oh, it looks so good on her. No. <laughs> gala has got her collarbones out, bro. She looks so good. Fashion soul skull. Well, I might have to get my int up just so I can wear this set <laughs> or at least the top even though i do really like the other top that we are wearing but like this one is black and i like that the stats are so much better on the hide night one too but, but this one's much lighter yeah, i gotta get my end up though we'll keep it as is for now all right belfry luna hello the fuck is going on in here Oh. The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Me and my chunks, we shall be made. Stay back all your pieces. Tiniest pieces. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that was so much information at once. Okay, the great bell of Alkin belongs to the princess. Who the fuck is the princess? Oh, King Vendrick. So he had a daughter. So he abandoned his queen and his daughter? Unless it's a different princess, then... I don't know what to call this guy. The bell boys call for the the bell boys. Oh, I like that. This is not what I was expecting. Okay. A long, long, long time ago, the princess should marry. Yes, just like so. To God 
this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul and dead, or you will be a goner. <laughs> oh. Stay back! It belongs to the princess, it do! God, the voice actors must have had such a time <laughs> to make these guys. Okay, so the princess made the bellboys to protect the bell, but why? What does ringing the bell do? <laughs> Quality dialogue. <laughs> you wish to guard the bell, you do. Mm -hmm. For the prince, for the princess forever. For, for the prince, there's a prince? Oh, clangorous covenant achievement. Abandon your covenant and join the bellkeeper covenant. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna leave the blue boys to join the bell boys. <laughs> All right. So who is the prince? Is that like the prince as in the princess's partner or the prince as in the son of the king? I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll take a note. I will join it, sure. <laughs> because I'm really not using, we already got the blue boy ring and I haven't been using it, so. Entered the covenant. <laughs> Bellkeeper's seal. Oh. Round the bell, you'll be brought near when the bell is in trouble. The ring brings you here. Oh. Slice them to whoever they are, wherever, whoever be they live, they fall. <laughs> Slice them to pieces for the princess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Lord, Jesus so that explains the massive pile of uh, bodies and helmets and such. You, you definitely slice them to pieces, eh? <laughs> okay, I mean, but all of these other ones here, they also look like bellboys, unless they're gonna come back to life or something, which would be horrifying. Or are these bellboys who died trying to protect it? Or maybe they tried to betray the bell? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, two bells. Turn to stretch, turn to fix. Gather around and ring the bell swift. Okay. We've been ringing this bell forever we have. <laughs> okay, I, I have to take notes. Streamer lacks the critical information. What do you mean? In Elkin is the princess's bell. In Ven is the prince's bell. And he originally said that this bell is the bell of Elkin. So are we in Elkin? Or what? Okay, but then I'm confused because I thought we were protecting the bell from being rung, but now he's saying that they've been ringing the bell forever? <laughs> what does that mean? And what does the bell do? <laughs> the more we talk about it, the more you make me want to ring the bell. So what did he give me? Was that a ring? Yeah. Okay, it looks similar to the other covenant ring too. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the bell keeper's domain. Of an invader? You mean just like anybody who's in the area? <laughs> Is that what you mean? The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who can never be united. Oh, okay, so it is prince and like partner prince, not son of the king prince, okay. The bell keepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love, that is their curse. Oh, why? Who put the curse on them to be separated? What does that have to do with the bell though? <laughs> I'm gonna take a note. Does that mean if I enter this area, then I will now be an invader to them? Oh, maybe I have to wear the ring, but I don't want to be summoned to protect the area because then I gotta invade somebody else. <sighs> okay, we'll, ju we'll just put it on. Maybe it will prevent people from aggroing me. I don't know. Because like, if all of these guys do come to life, then I would much rather just not deal with that. Try play dead. So are they fake dead? Can I jump this? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, jumping. I can't take this. Who's that? Wait. What? Am I... What's going on? Who's that? That looked like one of these guys. Whatever. Well, we'll see. Maybe we have to go like up and around or something. Skeptic spice. Oh, I think we got some of this last time. Jumping required a head, then hurrah for ring. Oh, it's right here. Oh my god. I see a summon thing here. Is that a real person? Master's Glencore. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go here first. Oh my god. I don't know why I thought that was gonna catch on fire or something. Skeptic spice. Blue tearstone ring. Oh, we had that in Dark Souls 1? I feel like the name is the same, but it looks different. Ring set with a rare tear stone. Reacts to when the wearer is in danger, temporarily increasing its wearer's defense. Oh yeah, it's the same type of ring though. Kaitha, goddess of tears, mourns those who have lost loved ones by shedding pure tears of blue. It's said that the stone set in this ring is one such tear. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
sure. Oh, maybe that's the fucking crying sound that's been looping in this area. I like, kind of heard a little bit of it last time, but I've heard it a lot today. I used that one so much in Dark Souls 1, but I don't know if I actually want to use that right now. I think I'll leave it for now, but I'm glad that we got it though. I don't know if I should summon this guy right now or if I should look around first, because that makes me think that there's a boss. Like, who is this? Oh god. Oh my god, they kind of hurt. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so maybe there was a pile of corpses down there. Maybe some of the bellboys betrayed because it seems like these guys are maybe covenant lads that I'm fighting. Just by the shading, it looks like invader type stuff, but I could be wrong. I kind of thought it meant more like for real people, but I don't know. Be very danger zone. Ally required a head. So interesting that this is like gated off. No lock on required head. Yeah, so I wonder if this is the gargoyle fight because we kind of saw them flying overhead, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh, okay. <gasps> oh my God, that, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Half my health. That's half my health. Okay, just roll away and heal. <laughs> Let's summon Masterless Glencore and see if he can help us on the roof there. And then maybe for the boss fight as well. Let's get up there. Please don't smack my head. Please don't smack my head. Okay. Oh my god. <gasps> no, no, no. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> If I can manage to not have them on both sides of me, that'd be great. Ow. Okay. Okay. Come on, Glencore. There we go. I need stamina. Okay, but don't kill him, because... Oh! Okay. Holy shit, that was close. You do like half of my health. Is there more than that? <laughs> I saw the lever. I just want to make sure I'm actually safe. Gorgeous view, Ed. Pretty alright. Skeptic <laughs> spice. Oh, there's another one. There we go. That wasn't too bad. With help, it wasn't too bad. What do you got in here? Radiant life gem and twilight herb. I'm kind of nervous. Like, am I gonna forfeit my covenant thing? Let's open this. Oh, it is ringing the bell. Are y'all gonna be pissed at me now? Or are we still good? So this is open now. I don't trust any of this, man. I <laughs> Should I unequip this if we're gonna boss fight? Okay, I'm gonna equip the HP defense thing. We'll just see. I can pop it on real quick. It is the gargoyles fight. I really loved the gargoyles fight in so much. <laughs> oh, I wonder if you can get their tails too. How many? I'm gonna heal. I'm not that low, but I'm also just scared. Don't flame, don't flame ball or something, okay? Oh, they look different. Is that another one? How many? Three? Oh, fuck. Shit. Okay, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, Glencore is gonna fucking die, bro. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Good, good job, Glencore. Another one. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, get that one, Glencore. Yeah, you got it. Nice. How many? Don't die. Oh no. My guy. Oh my god. Don't die, Glencore. You're my only saving grace right now. I I can't. Okay, stop blocking on. Oh shit, Glencore's gonna fucking die. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, that one's so low. Shh, 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 put that fire back in your fucking mouth. I'm so dead. I'm in a business place. Wait, 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 I'm so low. Where the fuck is my health? Oh, it's the HP ring. Defense ring. Are you kidding me? Another one. Okay, okay. Stop. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm royally fucked. Okay, okay, okay. No. No! <laughs> I'm heal some more. I'm so glad I have so many life gems right now. How big is your range? Oh, it's not that bad. No! Ah, oh, shit. Come back down here. Fight me like a real gargoyle. Heal! Move. If I defeat this, is Glencourt like dead dead? Like, can I not summon him anymore? I wonder. Wait, can I get your tail? Now that it's just you and I. Quit, quit spinning, bro. I, I just want your little tail. Just a little snip. 
this would be a good time. Maybe it's not even a mechanic. <sighs> okay, fuck. I'm gonna kill him before I can even attempt to get the tail. Give me your fucking tail. Maybe you can't get it. That or I just killed him before. Victory chief. I'm sorry, Glencore. Rest in pieces. Masterless Glencore, I think you're good. Okay, that's good. <laughs> At least. <laughs> Belfry Gargoyle Soul of Lost Bastille. The elaborate stone statues of the Belfry mysteriously came to life. Use the special soul of this living statue to acquire numerous souls or create something great worth. Okay, how many even was that? I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that maybe all of them, like this one and this one, were also gonna come to life. Oh, and maybe that one too. <laughs> okay, very interesting though. Soul of a Proud Knight. Makes me wonder, because like literally this looks like the roof from Dark Souls 1 with the gargoyles like the little door over there i mean it's a little bit different but like you know the general layout and with the bell being there and then this little entrance being here <laughs> very curious and the message up there as well that's like beautiful view and it was honestly the view is not that beautiful but like maybe it's because it once it once was a beautiful view <laughs> maybe i'm fucking reaching i almost feel like i had a harder time because i did do a couple of runs or attempts at in dark souls one at the gargoyles without a summon and those were pretty rough but i feel like because those ones they spent more time in the air and more time spewing fire but also i was brand new at the game that was my first ever souls game my second boss fight ever so maybe that's also skewing my opinion of it i don't know you have to fight less of them in that one right yeah in dark souls one it's less i think it was maybe three but i think it was two in dark souls one go back in the belfry i'm in your walls you're in my walls <laughs> what do you mean wait are you trying to invade me right now <laughs> okay so where does this go? Yeah, like this just straight up feels like Dark Souls 1 area. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The ghost just scared me. Oh, there's a bonfire right there, though. What do you have for me? Southern Ritual Band. Why is that? One of the secret treasures stored in Aldia raises the number of spells you may attune. This modest looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one need only recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. Aww, what happened in Aldia? Also, it looks very similar to this ring, the Northern Ritual Band. Oh, it is another Aldia thing. Oh, we just got this one today. So then that makes me wonder, maybe the Ritual Bands are the lover's rings of the prince and the princess? Because they look the same and they both are kind of similar. <laughs> Enemy horde ahead, therefore be wary of beating to a pulp. What? Oh, there's a ladder. What the f- Oh, dogs. Well, that's a lot of dogs, actually. Okay, let me light the bonfire real quick. What's going on? I think Ob is trying to invade me. So I'm going to battle him and then I'll go down the, the ladder after that. What? They don't respawn. Cardinal, this is the wrong- I mean, your wall. <laughs> Hi. How do I- I did the wrong one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I recognize this guy. Wrong one, I'm sorry. Here, there you go. <gasps> you little fucking bitch, bro. Hmm. What is that hitbox? Hey. With that. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's pretty fair enough. <laughs> Don't stop cornering me. Oh, you're making me nervous. <laughs> What's happening? I don't appreciate this. Oh, you better be scared now, bro. You better be scared now. What are you gonna do about it? Don't fall down the hole. <laughs> you're so- Oh my god, you are so low. <laughs> Let's go. Tight night chunk. Oh, it's a different drop each time. That's cool. Thank you for the invasion. Oh, this wall is gone. Oh, so maybe it was because I was about to be invaded that this was closed off. Let's go back to Majula really quick and then we'll come back, go down the ladder. I just want to spend the 30k so I don't have to worry about losing it. Because the other time I didn't do it, I think we lost like 10-ish or more k. Let's start working towards leveling up int so that I can use some spells. Because I do want to try out using some spells here and there. Thank you. I'm gonna buy more effigies. So now we've got 14 instead. And I'll get two more throwing knives. Back to Belfry Luna. Let's take a look at the dogs and then we can we can fuck around at that. <laughs> okay. Back again. So how many foot Jesus? Seven dogs. This staircase as well with the dogs, it really reminds me of a uh, Capra Demon and the, the close quarters. <laughs> I'm gonna get my shit kicked in, aren't I? Okay. Oh, they're pretty squishy though. 
Why am I getting invaded now? Morgul the Sinner. Oh, NPC. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. You gotta wait your turn, bro. You gotta fucking relax, all right? But also, I kind of just want to pick up the loot, if that's totally okay. Dragon Tooth petrified something. Bright bug. Oh, wasn't Dragon Tooth Pavels? Oh, I forgot there was more dogs. I see some fucking- Ooh, you're a fucking little shit, huh? I Heal a little bit. Why am I going blue? Oh, yay, only me, man. <laughs> I need- Ooh, I need more stamina. Yeah, you are. Fucker. <laughs> you little rat just like me. Oh, Vorgal the Sinner. Who the heck is that? Crawford Boulder. Is this a secret wall? No. That would be a cool place for a little secret. This place again? Or Visions of Boss. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, because of the stairs and then the narrow just area as well. Sadness ahead. Visions of Skeleton and this place again. Enchanted Falcon. Standard curved sword. Each slash of curved sword does less damage than a straight sword, but can deal a series of hits in flowing succession. The sharp blade is effective at causing bleed, but is soon dulled, so low durability. Beware when facing rock solid foes. Ah, so what is the enchantment on this though? So it has bleed, counter strength, or maybe the enchantment is the bleed. I see, I see. Okay. I am missing still one lock stone. I just, I don't have another one yet. So we'll have to come back for that. But other than that, <laughs> is that it for this section? Because we've gone through the Lost Bastille. We did the branch to get the NPC. We obviously opened up this area. Very curious that it's behind a lock stone. I mean, I was kind of hoping that there was going to be an area, but I, I didn't realize there was going to be quite so much. This whole area is really just a little nod to Dark Souls 1, isn't it? Like the Gargoyles and then the Capra demon thing and the twin bells and stuff as well. So I wonder if there's another bell somewhere else here that we can actually ring or not. Probably. I just, I don't really know where. Well, actually, I do know where. Vulcan, but I don't know where that is. <laughs> Go back for some invasions if y'all want. Bellkeeper bow. Wooden bow used by bellkeepers, very light, requiring hardly any strength. The bell symbolize forbidden love. The bellkeepers, their faithful guardians, ever ready to annihilate trespassers. They will stand watch forever and ever, the, these determined if ill-fated marionettes. I was wondering if they were puppets because the guy, the NPC guy that we could talk to, oh shit, I'm getting invaded. Um, <laughs> I thought he kind of looked like a puppet, but I wasn't really sure. Hello, do those guys aggro you? They don't! What? Yo, hold on, I'm gonna just- I'm gonna just smack these guys real quick first, okay? I'm gonna just- I'm gonna just smack these guys real quick first, okay? Okay, okay. Hi. Hi. You're gonna let me attack him? Okay. You are so- <laughs> Oh. Oh, you are- You are a little piece of shit. <laughs> I just- I just- <laughs> Let me see. I see. Okay. What? Wait, Grey Spirit? What is that? You can get invaded by two people? Hi, Waluigi. How are you? <laughs> Wait, what is this though? What is Grey Spirit versus Dark Spirit? <laughs> wow, my buddies. <laughs> can I take a note? Will you not smack me? I just. Can I take a note really quick? <laughs> okay, so Grey Spirits and Dark Spirits? What does that mean? Dark spirits. Thank you. Hey. 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 Hello, buddies. <laughs> Waluigi. I like that your face actually looks like Waluigi. Let's tussle. Unless we're friends. Can I not attack you? Oh no, we can just really attack each other. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot you had magic. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Why would I say sorry? You're invading me! Okay. 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 <laughs> you wanna heal for a fair fight? <laughs> then you can. Tiny nice slab! What? I slab? I'm okay. <laughs> okay, but you don't let me win. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're letting me win. Thank you for the invasions. I appreciate your services. <laughs> 
damn, she's good. I'm being loud weight, I feel like. Hi, Night Chung. Oh, so it is random drop each time. I forgot that I got this from Fraid. Oh, it's just a shrug. Okay. Oh, Gray is bellboy. I see. So when you have the ring on, so you've got basically like summon to invade me. That's so interesting. Okay, 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 okay. You can get invaded by bellboys even if you're a bellboy. Really? Why? That's weird. And if you use the ring, you can be Yoing from anywhere. Oh, like you don't even have to be in the Belfry Luna area. Like I could be in wherever else, I guess. Maybe I'll take a little note of that. I did notice my wall has become foggy. Yep. <laughs> so you still don't have a shirt. Oh, are we tussling? Oh. Oh. Oi. oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, you're a gray spirit. Oh wait, can you do multiple gray spirits at a time? That's kind of interesting. <laughs> She's too good. Are you laying me Wayne Danny? I can't tell. Oh. <laughs> you just do damage by jumping on my head. <laughs> so troll. Up to three gray spirits, really. So if they are coming and invading me, can they also attack each other? Like, could we all attack each other? Or they can only attack the one they invaded, I guess, maybe. Oh shit. Who's Zeal? I don't know who that is. Oh shit. Okay, should I bow? Damn, you got a big ass club. Ooh, ooh, boy. He rolls fast too, despite the big club. Surprise. Oh god. A chunk and weapon. Oh jeez. <gasps> that hit me? <laughs> no way, man. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's low. <gasps> no, it's so low. Oh, Zeal, no. Damn. Oh, Zeal, like, can they both it? <laughs> They attack each other or they just go back to their own world. That's so interesting. Oh yeah, he disappears. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a little note. I'm really glad that the servers for Dark Souls 2 are online because I didn't really get to do like any of like the PvP or like any of this kind of stuff in Dark Souls 1. And I feel like it's so fun. Alright, I'll do one more round if anyone wants. Oh god. Ziggy. Who's that? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I was gonna bow. Okay, no time for bowing. Just double hand, I'm not even using my shield. Okay. Oh my god. So is it like bad manners to heal when people are invading you? Like in general? Damn, he has so many I I'm so far away, there's no way that hit me. Oh god, he's he's gonna whoop my ass. Damn, I'm dead. Fuck, Ziggy, no. Oh, nice little bow though. <laughs> Not when being invaded, when it's not by your choice, but later on you can summon invaders. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. Should I get my souls? I don't- did I have very many? Maybe I should grab them. Okay, let me pick this up. There's also two areas you can fight people in this game. Two arenas. Might have already found one. Oh, is there? After the old dragon slayer. Oh, wait, yeah, the old dragon slayer. Okay, hold on. Before we call it quits, was it this? Cathedral of the Blue? Here. Okay, because I remember seeing a note about a shade. Visions of a shade. But I couldn't tell if they were fucking lying. <laughs> so maybe it is still a lie. I don't know. But like, this room seems so strange and it's got a bunch of statues and I don't know, man. I think you need tokens from helping people through to use it. Oh. Okay, that makes sense because I haven't done that. Yeah, because I couldn't talk to this guy either because I hadn't done Transient that either. Being. Nothing has changed. Maybe that's something I can do at some point in the future. Try to be summoned so that I can talk to this guy and maybe unlock whatever the arena is. Because that sounds kind of fun. Do you have the name engraved ring? Oh, I do. Yeah, 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 I do. Because you might be able to summon for old dragon slayer. Oh, really? Have you not done it? Yeah, you summon me. <gasps> Yeah, we could do that right now. You want to do that right now? I'd be down. Give me a sec. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go spend my souls and then I'll run over. Let me pop over my dude real quick. Oh, so fun. Okay, I've got like 14k. I can only really afford to level up once. So I'll put one more point into my int and then I've got 5k left. I'm gonna shovel some souls into this guy because... Oh, he has new items. You know, straight jacket. Oh, of the lost sinner. A tightly cinched belt presses against the waist. By now, who knows what this was used to punish? 
finish or for what reason? What do you mean by that? Mask of the Lost Sinner increases equip load. The spikes pointing inwards suggest this was not only used to bind prisoners, but to twitch them as well. Oh. Raises equipment load. I wonder if that would also like slowly drain your health though. That's kind of interesting. Hand restraints increases power of pyromancy, a device used to restrict use of the hands. By now, no one knows who this was used to punish or for what reason. Raises power of pyromancy. It's interesting that torture things like help boost your stats though. And a skirt. Tattered skirt for the guilty wear in shame. By now, no one knows who this was used for. What the hell? But it was worn by the lost sinner. So, I mean, I guess we do know who it was used to punish. <laughs> <laughs> These are quite expensive too. So maybe as you defeat more bosses, he might start to get some of their gear too. Also have one soul item here. Okay, so it's still not enough to level, but now I can buy this because I'm kind of curious about it. And then I've got 895 left, so let's just buy this. Alrighty, Moglin, Moglin, whatever your name is. I don't know how many I need to shovel into him, but I feel like it's probably going to be a decent amount. Okay, so I'm going to go, sorry for the detour. Alright, I'm going to pick the god of blood because we're about to murder somebody do i leave a summon sign then I don't, i've never done it put your sign down okay what's the difference between this one and this one the big one thank you <laughs> sorry i've never done this before wow oh you write it on the ground like chalk okay wow look that's me call do i need to be human i don't know if that matters i'll be human cool oh i'm so excited wow summon to world of tank privilege hi i see you also have no shirt what up? Oh, oh, and Waluigi! Let's go! <laughs> Let's fucking do these gamers. <laughs> this is so awesome. All right. Damn, you're buffing and everything. Challenge the area boss. Oh, sorry, I've never done this, so it's very interesting to me. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm guessing you have to live too to get the token thing. Oh my god, don't die. Watch out, watch out. Here, don't worry. I'll tank. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the fireball. Oh my god, bro. Watch out, watch out. Oh, where's my Estus? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I gotta heal again. Damn. You, you get away from them. Nice! Here we go! Hey! Duty fulfilled! Oh, so cool! Has completed returning to your world. Token of fidelity. So cool! Thank you, O, for letting me be summoned so I can get the token. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, token of fidelity. Token recognizing that the owner has traveled worlds to help others. When in others' worlds, it can also be used to restore the master of the world's HP. But this is only a secondary effect of the item. Simply carrying these tokens shows the depth of the holder's fidelity. Okay, cool. The firebombs were funny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting the firebombs. That was great. So do I need a certain amount in order to talk to the NPC? And then I'm guessing maybe you need more if you want the PvP area, or I guess, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay, Transient hello. being, you have obtained proof you are let's worthy go. of joining our order. Fuck yeah, let's go! You may call yourself one of us and are free to plant your roots in this garden of the gods. Be proud. I, Targre, do proclaim from this day you are a knight of the blue. Rejoice and bask in your new honor. Wow! Protector covenant. All right, yes, I would like to join. Yes, please. Thank you. You are no longer a mere vagabond. You are now a guardian, a knight of the blue. Proud knight, take this. Guardian seal. Okay. Wear this ring and shine light upon stone. Then you will hear the voices of the blue apostles. Listen for their cries of help and repel the malicious invaders. This is the proud work of the knights of the blue. The way they elevate themselves to a higher plane. Aww. I'll provide what you need. You may visit me at any time. I have so many questions. Cause didn't we already technically join the Blue Covenant? And wasn't it like a similar rundown like that from Sad Boy and Majula? Or are they different? Like Covenant of the Blue versus I guess of the Blue Knights? Proud Knight, you may come to me, Targre, for help. Blue Sentinel Targre. I'm gonna take some notes. Learn gesture. Dual bow gesture. Cute. Do you have anything else? We Knights of the Blue must rely upon one another to achieve our greater goal. Present your token of fidelity. Test your strength against other knights. Oh, so maybe that's the PvP arena thing? Proud knight, aim high in all things. We knights must protect the apostles of blue. Big blue boys help Never small Never forget blue this boys. fact, oh. and by your honor, 
never eschew your training. I see. So that's the other side of things. That makes sense. Yeah, because I guess the other one is if you need to receive help. There are others right. in this forsaken place who have only a lust for blood. Who would ever do something? They conspire to ambush blue apostles on the road. Protect our apostles from these bloodthirsty brigands. Any bloodthirsty brigands? Take pride in, chat? in your duty. As a blue knight, work hard and pursue a higher plane. So if I invade someone, is he gonna be pissed at me because I'm like doing the opposite of what we're supposed to do? <laughs> All right, so what do you sell? I don't think I've seen this before. An urn filled with crystal clear water, originally intended as a soothing potion. This water scalds the skin of the undead and hollows. In the capital of Mara, an ancient well-protected spring produces holy water. But the water has been difficult to acquire ever since Mara became embroiled in war. I take a little note. Cleanse undead with holy essence. You get like extra defense or something? Maybe? Okay, and there's also bolt stone. An altered state of titanite used to imbue weapons with lightning or provide lightning reduction to shields. Sorcerers at the Melfian Magic Academy once attempted to imbue titanite with various elements, but are said to have failed. Someone must have succeeded though. What else would explain this stone? Oh, similar to a different thing that we also have. I think it was probably the same exact description, but like imbues it with something else. Heavenly thunder. It emits lightning in a random direction. Scholars bicker over whether this is the original lightning spear or a derivative. Oh, one can never gain full control of the power of the gods, but with this little favor from Lady Luck, this spell will destroy your foes. Who's Lady Luck? You need 17 faith for that though, which is... <laughs> so where would the PvP arena be? Oh, the statues. Oh, I see. Join a sparring match. Does it matter which statue or is it all the same? Oh, that makes so much sense because I was wondering what these statues was all about. There's so many things in this game that are like... Like, how would anyone ever know this? How would you know to do this? I don't know. That also makes more sense as to like why you can bonfire here because I was wondering for such a small area to have its own bonfire and like title name and everything seems strange. I'm kind of curious just to see. Locating sparring partner. Oh, do you just wait here? Oh. Oh, sparring partner located. Is this one of you guys? <laughs> Oh, we're blue. Oh, Waluigi. Oh, it's so cool. Commence sparring. This is so cool. What the hell? I'm just gonna look around <laughs> really quick. Oh, is this your DLSL? This is so neat. I like the windows. Look at these little windows. That's so cool. <gasps> oh my god, I'm, st <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally saw the pot and I'm like, why can't I break this? Like, would there even be loot in here? <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that spell. Is it just this area? Can we go up? Or is this- this is the arena, I guess. That's so funny. Didn't I get a new one? I can do a dual bow. I didn't even see what it looks like. Oh, it's so cute. It's actually so nice that it's you guys so I can just like take my time and I can like look around. Oh, you can go up there. What is that? Oh, I see. This is so cool. Did Dark Souls 1 have something like this too? God damn, that's so cool. Sometimes I really wonder if I should revisit Dark Souls 1 just to like see the extra little bits that I never got to see with PvP. I don't know if that's something people would even be interested in. All right, shall we tussle? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the wave. <laughs> Wait, what is that? You just use a throwing knife on me. A poison throwing knife. Oh my god. Those are spooky. I think I might have some sort of special throwing knife. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for sparring with me. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, that's cute. Cracked blue eye oil. Thank you for uh, indulging me <laughs> today. <laughs> We're gonna go back to Medulla. We got like 4K now. I'm gonna go shovel them into Moglin. Moglin. Oh, he's different. Okay, you know what? We're gonna talk to him next time because we've been going six hours. <laughs> And I was just gonna give him my 4k souls, but now he's different, which means I'm gonna have to take notes and uh, I'm exhausted now. So <laughs> we'll talk to him next time, but he's changed. So there's that. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for part six of Dark Souls 2. If you liked watching, I'm sure leave the full playlist and phrase playthrough down in the description box and all my social links will be down there as well. All right, so very packed day today. Honestly, a lot more than I was anticipating. Overall, honestly, today was just very nostalgic of Dark Souls 1, which I really loved. Honestly, I thought it was really nice. We got a lot of really good lore items, which was really great. We do still have one lock stone for Lost Bastille, so we'll have to go back there at some point. And then also just being able to try out some of the PvP stuff, both with like just little
little mini battles, but then also being able to be summoned for once, which was really cool. And then also, which unlocked obviously the Cathedral of Blue NPC and just being able to unlock that little arena thing. It was just really cool to kind of be able to experience something a little bit different and it was really fun. But that is gonna be for me tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying so far. As always, of course, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you're liking, it helps me a lot. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, goodbye.